this is the most bizarre weather. Ponchos. Ponchos. Sun cream. Best thing we've eaten in Japan. Is it though? Mm. Good morning and welcome to my channel Wandering Adventures and welcome to Osaka, Japan. For those of you who are new here, my name is Jasmine and we're here on a two week trip around Japan. We've previously been in Tokyo so if you want to check out those vlogs, I'll link them in the description below. Now let's go and see what Osaka has done. So we're in the metro, this is all of the lines. So we're heading around Osaka today, we're going to get the Osaka Amazing Pass. I've seen a little bit of information online but there isn't too much so I'll try and give you as much information as possible for it. It gets you travel all around Osaka on the metro lines and the, other, the only lines that it doesn't include are the JR passes which we have anyway so luckily we can go around everywhere today and it does get you free entry in some attractions and discounted entry into others so I'll let you know if it's worth it at the end of the day. It's 2,800 yen which works out at around 17 British pounds. To get the amazing pass you have to come to the station master which is in all metro stations in Osaka. It's a little bit difficult to find. We had to ask for directions a couple of times and then you come to this office here and then they only take cash so make sure you've got cash with you so this is what it looks like so this is the pass that you actually use to get around and what you show and then the other thing is the information pass and it tells you where you can go and gives you more information it is in english as well oh and you can get another stamp here as well they've got is it within really those two that they had yeah. And they have little scraps of paper that you can use if you haven't got a book. We forgot our book today. <laughs> no. So oh, there are some signs, but it depends which way you come in. There was no signs where we went. Why is this station so windy? boarded off the construction. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at it from a distance. Entry is free. 
with the amazing pattern you go to a separate ticket desk where it is advertised and then they give you the ticket to the art museum as well. So there is a cafe here, and there are tables where you get to enjoy the view. Okay, we're going up. No wheat. How far up is it? Do you want to get the lift? Look, more stairs. How many stairs do you reckon we've climbed on this entire holiday? Here comes the rain. It's bright, so we need sunglasses. It's humid, so we can't have a jacket on. And now it's raining. <laughs> can't use umbrellas up here on the roof. But it's a pretty nice view. Well, it was nice. It's slowly disappearing beneath the clouds on the road. And these are available to purchase inside. Come all the love luck. They would be a very cute souvenir. <laughs> right, important question time. Okay. Did you enjoy it? Yes. I liked the Shibuya spare more for some reason, even though it was higher. Would but you have paid for it? Yes. Yeah. How much was it? Fifteen hundred yen. Mm, that's why I paid over that. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, not a cool print now. It was good, especially if you've not been to Tokyo and not been to Shibuya Sky. Bizarre weather. Look how windy it is. Still need my sunglasses on. And it's raining. I'll probably tell you if you're gonna walk into a wall. Probably. This is a nice area. There's some food over there. There's some mini golf. There's a couple of game activities back can't film because there are people and children on them. Some Tetris blocks for chairs. And some more cool steps. I don't know if that's picking up on the camera, but that's water. Just going down all them steps. Oh, it's really nice, it's really relaxing. And then skyscraper, cranes, the things that you see in a typical city. It's a craft beer garden. Mark would be in there if we were, if he was here. That 
That's a lot of stairs. Just when you thought there was no more stairs. It's a little train. Next stop, the castle. We're hoping to be able to go on a boat tour and also walk around. Just a note on the vending machines, they don't accept Revolut cards. They do accept your Suica card. But not your Revolut card for some reason. That's the castle. Now we're going to go and see if there's any reservations available on the boats. The boats go around the moat. So to get here the line that we used was actually a JR line which was fine because we've got a pass but it just means that the cost of it wasn't included in the Osaka Amazing Pass. I will still include a total and see whether we've made the cost. Um, and see if it's worth it. This is very pretty. And the grounds are actually a lot bigger than what we thought they were going to be. So allow plenty of time. So we've just walked over to the pier and picked up our reservation for the boat that goes around the castle. You just have to use this ticket station over here. So you exchange your Osaka Amazing Pass and you get one of these tickets. It gives you the time that you have to the time of the boat on there and you have to be at the pier which is just around that corner 10 minutes before departure they've gone to get ice cream from the vending machine I forgot to mention the adult price for this boat is supposed to be 1500 yen so we've saved that it seems to be worth it at the minute there's the boat Did you get your ice creams? My vending machine sells ponchos, ponchos. Pastas, some cream, sanitary towels, <laughs> some crisps, some snacks. Where's the train? It's a good idea. Okay, the important bit. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah? Was it worth it if it wasn't included? How much was it? No. It was supposed to be 1500 yen. The boat doesn't go anywhere that you can't see on dry land. And the information that it gives you is interesting. But it's also on the website. And you could Google it at a bush. So I wouldn't say it was worth it. If you got the amazing pass, quite a nice boat ride. Otherwise, don't bother. The steps while everyone's enjoying the view. Let's go and see what's above the wall. But was it worth it? <laughs> was it worth those extra clutches? Yeah. I just thought I'm doing that. Through the castle. <laughs> 
how this hasn't smashed on this holiday, I don't know. Nope, it's fine. Get yourself a Google Pixel, people. I've dropped it about 15 times. Busy around here. Nice little shrine after you've come out of the castle. Mm. Yeah, a lot of the shrines that we've been going to have been Buddhist. This one's Japanese. A lot of bad fortunes there. escalator before I've never seen one that's so cool that was a very cool shopping center we did get distracted doing some shopping in the second-hand shops but now we're back on schedule heading back to Dotonbori gonna try and do the ferris wheel and get the rest of the snacks that I wanted to try yesterday <laughs> and at least it's not raining now so we can see where we're going I know I shouldn't have said that I carry all of these things. Very cool street lamps. I think they're sponsored by Red Bull. Yeah, definitely drinks the rain. I'm gonna go see if there's availability for the Ferris wheel. It hasn't moved. And it's raining. And you can't see anything. And there may be a thunderstorm. And there may be a thunderstorm. Though that is definitely thunder. It might not be on. Let's go see. Second day in rainy Delta Bore. Oh, it was a good idea. Rain is ruining all plans. So it's usually 600 yen and you get 100 yen off with your amazing pass, but obviously it depends on the weather. Because it's currently closed. I think that this is the river cruise as well that you can go on with the Osaka Pass but again it's raining and we wouldn't be able to hear the guide they do give you ponchos though by the looks of it she does have them all in a bag but we've got a reservation tonight so we don't want to push it time wise either this feels familiar Best thing we've eaten in Japan. Is it though? <laughs> Oh, no. 
in my like feet are on around like fire. Forty-five minutes. Quick rest break. Quick noodles. There's my sauce. <laughs> Back on the trains and making our last use of our um, Asaka amazing pass to head to Team Labs. We already booked it in advance uh, as soon as tickets were available, but I do think some are available on the day as well. <laughs> 10 minute walk from exit 3. There was a concert in the park today, so we're currently in a sea of people who are all trying to leave the park and we're trying to get into the park. The people of Japan are so polite. The crowd is absolutely huge coming from that concert and everyone is just walking really nicely to the train. I know British people like queuing, but that's a whole other level. We just need to try and find a way in now, because they've blocked it all off with temporary barriers. There's, there's, no, there's a severe lack of Sweet Caroline in this queue. But it's far too quiet. <laughs> Team Lab Botanical Gardens Osaka. It's the same company that runs Team Lab Planets in Tokyo, but this is just a nighttime outdoor activity. It's only open for two hours in the evening and it's free to wander around. There's no specific route and you can just enjoy the garden. There's no flash photography, so I'll see what clips I actually managed to get, but we're just gonna go have a nice wander around. I can hear the cricket. <laughs> I can hear the wildlife already. Ooh. Sound comes on when you walk close. This looks cool from over here. So we're in Team Labs now, and we did read before we came that it is advised to cover your arms and legs because of the mosquitoes. And we were thinking, what? There's not going to be any mosquitoes. We have an entire lake of water. Keep covered. Put your bug spray on. <laughs> I hope you could see the back on that because it was flying about Look, as a special is. guest. Look. There you go. Right over my head. Come to a beautiful night garden and look at a bat. Yeah. It's a cool bat. Can you see it? Did you see the bat?
This would be really pretty if I could see. Imagine this is really pretty. You're not allowed to use flash photography, so I can't show anybody anything. Pink. Hello, me again on my phone because my GoPro died again. <laughs> uh, reviews, guys, what did we think? Did we like it? Yes. Yes? Very pretty. Very pretty. And we booked in advance, so it was really straightforward to just have the ticket. You do need your QR code on a live website rather than a screenshot, the same as the other Team Labs. But it was very straightforward and it was just a nice way to end the evening. So we're going to head to bed now and I will see you in the next part of Osaka.